What's up everybody, this is the PA Music Man 2, and we are right here on the OSS Duin channel. We're about to check out another Monster Slots 20 duel. That's right, we got El Medina 93 against J Wall 1442. El Medina's on the bottom here, while J Wall is rocking on the top. And we're going to start with a face down and one card face down for Medina. And let's see what J Wall got to offer. He's packing one of those main 40 card decks. Well, it looks like Medina is packing the same thing. We get Oppo 40 card decks with no extra. J Wall will start with Alexandrite Dragon, a supply squad, and a face down. He'll attack. We have a No Penguin. Well, that'll be interesting. We'll see what kind of deck Medina has to offer. Looks like it looks like it's a Penguin deck. So let's see what this will be. Let's see what Monster Slot card Medina got. Medina will draw. She will set one card face down, and J-Wall will draw. I'm starting to see the strategy. J-Wall will put down that Goblin Attack Force. Alexander Dragon will attack. What card will it be? The anticipation is shivering. It's Penguin Soldier! I was actually expecting Nightmare Penguin. Penguin Soldier is a, is a two-star flip monster that after it's flipped, you can send up to two two monsters from the deck to the hand. But it looks like because of no Penguin, those monsters are banished. Wow, what a good turnaround play for Medina. <clears throat> and now j -Wall will have to end this end his turn without a monster on the field while Medina has a 16 pound 1600 attack point monster no penguin it's gonna be a really tough first duel for J-Wall let's see what happens next we'll see a flipped up twin twisters that was her face down <clears throat> Looks like she will, she'll have to discard one monster, or well, sorry, one card from the hand, to destroy up to two cards. She will discard Aqua Spirit to target Supply Squad and that face down, which so happens to be the card. Countergate. We'll see a direct attack by No Penguin, and it'll be the end of the turn. But first, Dana will put one more face down. The Penguin will direct attack one more time. And Jay will activate Counter Gate. He negates attack if he draws. And we got a comment from Talk. We're going to find out the monster slots. Right here, Medina 93 has the aqua card crab turtle and while j -Wall will be something else looks like j -Wall didn't draw the card he needed maybe this card will do better shard of greed will be on the field you gotta be careful when facing these penguins now Elite Goblin Attack Force will stay on the field, and Medina will draw. Now the really one only good way to get rid of him, since he'll keep respawning in the grave, is you've got to banish him. <clears throat> Looks like he'll send Elite Goblin Attack Force to the... well, he'll banish him, and then we'll see a double attack. We'll see the Seal of Horde Calcos, and no penguin will head to the grave. Uh, that's that tricky Seal of Horde Calcos field spell. Not only when you activate it, all monsters you control gain 500, but when it's activated, all, you will, it will automatically destroy all special summon monsters. So now we'll see a direct from Abyss Soldier and Penguin Soldier. 
Duval is down to 2850. Medina still has 8,000 life points left. This is going to be a hard duel to come by. One thing for sure, I would hate to be j right now. Looks like he's calling a good, a good game. And will he be able to put anything down? Even one monster to protect him? We'll just have to wait. That's just why I say fight to the end. That's what I would say. And we have that comment. The battle phase will happen. Penguin Soldier will direct attack. And Abyss Soldier will also direct attack. And the first game will go to Medina 93. And now both players will side. And now we're going into game two of this Monster Slots tournament. Medina 93, he'll summon no penguin one more time. He'll put one card face down. And we'll see what happens next. Jawa only put down three face downs. Defense draw will stop the, the attack. Jawa will draw. It's his turn. So far, things are looking pretty even. But it really looks like Jawa is just trying to get that soldier out of the way. He's trying to get that no penguin. And so the first 400 will go down, and j -Wall is slightly in the lead. But that's not how this deck will work. Dina will activate Dark Hole, and that'll be it. Looks like she doesn't have any face down, any monsters. Goblin Elite Attack Force will attack. And Medina will look like she's gonna, he's gonna, it's gonna lose 2200 attack. Oh, there's that Forbidden Dress combo I've been seeing a lot recently. In which you could take a really strong monster, negate its effect so it's not affected. I do activate a Foolish Burial. He'll send the monster Nightmare Penguin to the grave. Interesting choice. Dark Hole is sent. And that would be that second Dark Hole of the game. And we have the face down. <clears throat> j will put one card face down. And Regeki taking out the card Puny Penguin. If it's sent from the field to the graveyard after being flipped face up, you can target one penguin monster in your graveyard and special summon that target. We have Supply Squad and we have a uh, Denko Sema. And he's going to choose not to attack. That could be a very risky move down the line. Flipping up is Penguin Soldier. And because of Penguin Soldier being able to return a monster, No Penguin will come back from the grave. No Penguin is it's on, and we have a second No Penguin. Drop Hole quickly takes care of that. No Penguin, well, Penguin Soldier will attack first. And Mirror Force is used. He's trying to just take out, he's just trying to keep those in the graveyard as much as he can. Because if, if anything, that's one benefit of having this kind of deck. As long as you keep your monsters in the grave, that's probably the best thing you can do right now. Pewn Penguin, Salvage was used, bring back two cards. Most likely Nightmare Penguin and Penguin Soldier. Now Card Trader was just used. 
Well, good thing about Nightmare Penguin, and the downside about Penguin Soldier that Nightmare Penguin excels at, is it can target any card on the field. So that can be pretty good depending on what card you pick. No Penguin and Nightmare Penguin direct attack. And we see a Scrap Iron Scarecrow blocking that last attack. Dina's down to 5,000, J Wall 6,900. Card Trader is used, swap out for a better card, and it looks like it's a dead. It's a dead right there. Solidarity is activated, and we have a triple summon. We have Abyss Soldier. He's going to discard the card of Crab Turtle to move Scrap Iron Scarecrow back to the hand. Now we're paying one, and we have Battle Fader stopping the attack. Seovora Calcos is activated on one side. Hopefully this will give a bit of a attack bonus that he'll desperately need. Two cards in his hand, one card trader, one supply squad, and he will set one card face down. Dina's turn has the field advantage, and this soldier will discard one more water monster. He'll send that face down to the hand. Hopefully he has another battle fighter or something, because this does not seem like a good idea. Athena, by the way, is a... Oh, here's that, here's that killer. There's Starboy. Another penguin, and no penguin. The game will go to Al Medina, and he and Medina will move on to the second round. This is the Music Man. We are signing off.